So I have been growing my dill in a container. This is a grow bag. It's a good way to keep it contained. It's kind of like a weed sometimes and can spread throughout your garden. I started these indoors from seed way back in, you know, early spring. And they're really taken off here and starting to flower. So I think it's a good time to hack this off. So I want to try and preserve some of this dill right now so that I have some for when the cucumbers are ready for pickling or my beets. And I want to make some dill pickles, dill beets, whatever. So we're going to try uh, cutting this off and uh, freezing this for later. So some of these have gone to flower, which is okay. Some of these branches like this will be good to just chop up and have fresh dill ready for your recipes. Hey, Gia. Mm -hmm. Can you put my garden gloves on, please? Sure. How to put your gloves on. You put your hand in there. Make sure your thumb goes in this first one. Okay, can I pull one? Yeah, you can hold it and then I'll cut it, okay? Oops. Okay, hold this one here. I'll cut it and you can put it in there. It smells good. Can you smell the dill? Can you smell it? Okay, we're just going to hack it right down and I think it'll keep growing back. Got it? One? Yeah. This is a big one. Yeah. Yeah. Got I know. One more, we got one more big one here. If you can hold it, we'll cut it right down here. There. We'll let the rest of this Hello. see if it grows back or not. Put this into the house, wash it up, and uh, cut some up for fresh, and see if we can freeze the rest. I'm just going to try and spin out as much of the water as I can here. Should be able to get all this into one load here. Man, it just makes you want to have dill pickle chips right now. <laughs> so now I'm just going to spread this out on a paper towel and let it air dry for a couple hours before it's ready to throw into the freezer. So when it's ready to put it in the freezer, I'm just going to spread it out here on some parchment paper on a cookie sheet because I want these to freeze separately rather than just shoving them all into a baggie right now they might just freeze and clump together and be hard to separate when you go to use them so this way if you freeze them individually and then bag them up they'll be a lot easier to use so i've spread these all out on the cookie sheet and going to just stick them in my deep freeze to give them a quick freeze so if you just want to preserve your fresh dill for cooking or putting in sauces or dips you can take your sprigs here, wash them, dry them really well. Just chop them up roughly like this and put them into a airtight container. And throw them in your freezer. Whenever you want some for your cooking, you can just grab a little handful out. If they're kind of frozen together, you can just kind of chop off a piece, thaw it out and just add it straight to your cooking. So that's a great way to preserve that fresh dill easily and quickly. So it doesn't take very long for this to get, you know, partially frozen, frozen enough so that it's not going to clump together when you put it in your freezer bags here. And then you can just kind of lay it inside a large freezer bag such as this. Kind of spread it out. There we 
And it should be easy to grab a few sprigs whenever you are ready to use. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video on how you can preserve your dill so that it's ready for canning season at the end of the summer or if you want to just have fresh dill all winter long this is a great easy way to preserve so don't forget to hit that like button leave a comment and if you haven't already done so hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos coming to the channel thanks for watching